Who are you and where are you from? Oh, my name is O Yemi Tubi. My artistic name is Moyat. I was born in Yoruba land in the western part of Nigeria. Thank you. Tell us a bit about your practice. What do you do? Uh, I am a visual artist. I like to use my painting to evoke, provoke and promote positive action or positive emotion in uh, this uh, crazy world. How do you do it? Um, like I'm, I'm, my style of work is motivated, uh, influenced by the, uh, the political or social crisis in our world. And I like to use my painting to speak my opinion about what is going on around the world. Like I'm the theme of my work is the fact of life, roses and thorns. So I use uh, roses as the positive and um, so achievement of people's life, and thorns be the negative and bad thing that happen in this world. So I use uh, the roses and thorns as the fact of life. In everybody's life, there's positive time and there's negative time. That sounds very interesting. So when did you start? I've been doing painting, I mean, I've been doing artwork nearly all my life. After I finished my degree in 1986, I was raising children. But, so I do freelance work, I do graphic arts, and at the awake of um, Arab Spring, I was motivated to pick up my brushes to start do, doing political uh, paintings. My first painting was Arab Revolution for me to speak about injustice that the people in the Arab world are facing under their tyrannical leaders. Great. Who or what inspires your practice? As I said, I mean, I, when I was in, in university, I studied the work of the um, people like Michelangelo, the Renaissance artist, and I like re realistic work and the work of the many of the Renaissance artists, like the people that the man that painted the Spanish um, Revolution and the French Revolution, the um, liberty leading the people, influenced my work of Arab Revolution, and I was I was so moved that the artists can use their work to make a change in their own world. So I like the work of um, Salvador Dali the most. So most of my work is like surrealist work. I don't like to copy painting. I don't, I don't like to copy picture or nature. I like to use my own painting to create something that is not uh, natural or something that picture uh, camera cannot take. Inspiring. So what are you exhibiting at Clash 2022? Um, I'm exhibiting in the Clash 22, my, uh, three of my work works. The first one is Ukraine, the unfortunate bride, vicious of men and domestic abuse. As we are in the year 2022, when the, um, Putin declared war on the people of Ukraine, and killing people. So the, my painting was initially um, influenced by what uh, Putin did in 2014 when he annexed um, part of Ukraine. So that's what motivated me to do Ukraine titled The Unfortunate Bride. Okay, Unfortunate Bride. So how does this, how does it link to the theme of Clash? Yeah, the, this link in, with the theme of clash, I mean, with, with all my political um, statement, the war that going on in Ukraine this time is not a clash between Ukrainians and Russia. It's a clash between the Western world and Russia. 
uh, right from the time of um, President Kennedy, right from the time of the Second World War, the, the, the America and Russia have been against each other. They will not want to see the image or the shadow of each other near them. So because um, Ukraine um, government want to be closer to the NATO, that's why um, the Putin is declare war against um, Ukraine. He did not want them to, he did not want Ukraine to join NATO. So the clash, so this painting fit perfectly with the theme of the exhibition, the clash. The clash is not between the people of Ukraine, the clash is between the NATO and Russia. Thank you. So why did you apply for Clash 2022? Um, I've been um, taking part with the Lukenia Festival since 2019. And the one of the reasons why I applied is to have my painting exposed to the world. So there's no need of me having painting, making a political statement if I didn't have a platform to exhibit it to the world. Thank you. So where can people find out more? Uh, people can find, find out more about my work on my Instagram page, hashtag OYEMITI, or people can see more of my work on my website, www.o-yemi-2 Great, thank you.